Thank you for purchasing a PowerMax 30 plasma cutting system. This brief movie is designed to provide you with basic information on PowerMax 30 system setup and operation, as well as tips to optimize cut quality and consumable life. Before we begin talking about system setup, we must first emphasize the importance of safety. The plasma arc cutting process is very safe. However, it is extremely important that you fully understand and follow prevention methods to guard against electrical shock and learn how to protect your skin, ears, lungs, and eyes. By following proper setup and operational procedures demonstrated in this movie and outlined in the operator manual, you will minimize the chance of injury. In this section, we will cover consumable installation, power and air connections, system controls, and indicators. If later you have any questions relating to the proper setup of the system, refer to the operator's manual, the quick setup card, or the decals on the power supply. To check the proper installation of the torch consumables, unscrew the retaining cap to remove the parts within. Replace the parts by first inserting the electrode, swirl ring, followed by the nozzle. Screw the retaining cap on until hand tight. Do not over tighten as the consumables may become damaged and interfere with proper operation. If using the optional deflector to reduce nozzle arcing during edge starts, then snap it on to the end of the retaining cap. Pull back the quick release collar on the gas hose and insert on the fitting. Air should be filtered to remove all dirt, water, and oil as contaminants can damage the power supply, torch, and consumables. The minimum gas pressure is 80 PSI or 5.5 bar and should not exceed 135 PSI or 9.3 bar. Depending on the input voltage requirement of the system, the plug on the power cord may need to be changed. If this is the case, or the system is to be hardwired to a power source, the work must be done by a licensed electrician. For input voltage requirements, refer to the data plate on the bottom of the system, or the operator manual. After power is properly connected, power on the system by turning the switch on the back of the system. The power lamp on the front of the system will illuminate. Adjust the cutting current to the desired position. The other indicator lamps on the system are for over temperature, torch cap placement, and gas pressure. If the yellow gas pressure lamp illuminates, the gas pressure is too high or too low. If the yellow torch cap lamp illuminates, then the retaining cap is loose or not installed. If the yellow temperature indicator lamp illuminates, the system temperature is outside the acceptable operating range. Before making your first cuts, attach the work clamp securely to the workpiece or the cutting table near the cut. Remove any rust, paint, or coatings to ensure good electrical contact. Never attach it to the portion of the metal that will fall away. Avoid unnecessary starts as they reduce nozzle and electrode life. To perform an edge start, hold the torch vertically just off the edge of the workpiece. Pull the safety lock back and depress the red trigger to fire the torch. The pilot arc will transfer to the workpiece and become the cutting arc. You may need to pause at the edge until the arc has completely cut through the workpiece, then proceed with the cut. You may place the nozzle on the workpiece and drag the torch or maintain approximately 1 16th of an inch or 1.5 millimeters torch to work distance. When nearing the end of the cut, angle the torch into the direction of the cut, allowing the arc to come out first, ensuring a complete cut. Maintaining proper travel speed is key to successful cutting. Watch the arc beneath the plate as sparks should lag 15 to 30 degrees behind the cut. If the sparks are vertical, then you're moving the torch too slowly. If the sparks are perpendicular to the cut or are spraying up from the workpiece, 
you're moving too fast or don't have sufficient power. Lag lines on finished cut edge should also be about 15 to 30 degrees. You may use a circle cutting guide, a straight edge, or a template to guide the torch. However, the distance from the shield center to the edge must be factored in when creating a template or deciding on the placement of the straight edge. If using an angle iron for beveling, remember that the material thickness increases proportionally with the bevel angle. The piercing capability of a system is typically half of the maximum cut capacity. Depending on the thickness of the metal being pierced and the system used, there are two methods of piercing. If piercing thin metal, hold the torch perpendicular to the workpiece and pull the trigger to transfer the arc. If piercing thick metal, hold the torch at an angle and so that the nozzle is within 1 16th of an inch or 1.5 millimeters from the workpiece. Pull the trigger to transfer the arc, then slowly rotate it to an upright position. In both methods, when sparks are exiting from the bottom of the workpiece, you have pierced through the metal and then you may proceed with the cut. To prolong the life of consumables, it is recommended that the second method be used to minimize damage to the consumables caused by molten metal blowback. Cut quality and consumable life are often two very important factors when selecting a system. To ensure that the torch consumables last as long as they are designed and perform to manufacturer specifications, follow the tips in this movie and refer to the supplied cut charts for proper setup. A number of factors determine how long consumables last. Air quality, piercing technique, length of average cut, operator skill, material thickness, and material type all play a role. Reduced system performance and cut quality are often caused by poor air quality, so be sure to maintain clean, dry, oil-free air. Hypertherm offers a variety of accessories for the PowerMax 30 line, such as air filters, circle cutting guides, leather torch sheathing, system dust covers, face shields, and gloves. For more information about any Hypertherm products, please contact your authorized distributor or visit our website at hypertherm.com. By following the recommended setup and operational procedures, you will optimize the performance of your system while ensuring years of safe and satisfactory operation. We thank you for your purchase of a PowerMax system.